the literature is really clear that, that by definition, when someone has a TBI, they're at risk of a totally catastrophic future of things like dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, suicide, divorce, the, the effect of another brain injury superimposed on that brain injury, reserved brain capacity, all these things, their risk relative to the, to the general population skyrockets. Do you talk about this in your cases? You should. And what I do is, is I make sure that not only is this constantly being talked about in trial, but then in closing argument, I might say something like this. You know, right now, all the risk of a completely catastrophic future lies only with John. If he's in a nursing home five years from now, we can't come back and say, we didn't ask you for enough money, that we need $10 million more. We can't do that. So you have to appreciate that right now, the defendant caused all these injuries. They caused the brain damage, but all the risk of a totally catastrophic future lies only with my client, and that's not fair. And we're not asking you to transfer all of that risk onto the defense, but we're asking that that be shared, so that it's shared equally, that risk of a totally utter catastrophic future, that it's shared between the plaintiff and the defense, because we think that's fair.